Hey there, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I have a anti-haul empties stuff I'm decluttering video to do. I'm gonna try to make it quick because I can't show you everything, but I'm gonna just do a rundown, especially of like the makeup that I had to clutter. <sighs> okay, let's go through like the real empties here. Um, I went through the Performix. This is the Fruity Cereal. I was on Fruity Charms. I can't find it. What happened to it? I don't know. It's gone. It has disappeared. Love that stuff. Can't. This is also by the same brand. It's just like different and it tastes the same. It just doesn't have the marshmallows in it, which is fine. It's like really when I'm drinking my um, protein drink, do I want to be chewing it? Probably not, but those marshmallows tasted just like the like marshmallows on Lucky Charms. So I miss it. This was really good. I um, haven't been using protein powder this past week. It feels weird. I get extra hungry after working out and like not having it has been like, mm. but as long as I eat right away, it's fine. I just haven't really had the money to go buy more. I want to buy more though. I went through two different L'Oreal. I have a shampoo and a conditioner, extraordinary clay. There's nothing new here. I have like some of the things that I always go through, I have listed in my Amazon favorites. It's like a link in the description you can always check that out um dove i went why does this feel like there's still some left in here i think i need to go add more water to it um i might get another couple washes this is a deep moisture and it is just like their like regular one i love dove body soap it doesn't break me out i have a sensitive skin one that i'm going through and i really love that um so totally clean again another just like i always go through these i love them they are great um, it doesn't like it doesn't really dry out your skin either, which is amazing. I went through a candle. This is pink lemonade pound cake. It didn't really. This is like one of the first candles where I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna repurchase it. It just when it was burning, like it smelled like burnt lemonade. I don't. I, this is it's a weird way to describe it, but it did. I went through a lotion. This also rarely happens. This is Anderson Lily Winter in Manhattan Beach. It smells really good. It smells beachy but it dried my hands out. I think the fragrance was just too much in it where if like I put lotion on and then I felt like I had to go put more lotion on and it was just like <laughs> probably why I ran out of it. I just kept putting it on and on. This is aloe vera by Aubrey. It's like, um, I love like the spray aloe vera for my face, but this was something that I bought and you put it on like a cotton ball or something and then just like rub it on. It went bad. Like <laughs> I was using it uh, last week and I was like, why does this smell weird? And I opened up the bottle and it was just like brown and it's supposed to be clear. So I'm like, I should really check that more often. I went through another candle. This is Summer Boardwalk. It smells great. It smells like caramel. Um, the scent is like memories of the best summer spent at the beach. Caramel, glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salted sweet cream. It smelled like caramel. It was really good. I love caramel scents. And then I went through another Bath and Body Works. This is the Salted Honey and Vanilla Soap. Loved it. Smelled great. I love that. Anything with like the word honey in it, I'm just like attracted to it. Just like one of those words that it, like triggers you in like a, at least me in a good way. Um, okay. Other than that. Oh yeah. I'm trying to get like the stuff I went through fully, not just the stuff I had to get rid of. This is Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior. This took forever to go through and the bottle is like a 10. So like you can't even tell when it's about to be out. So like I want to say for three months, I was like, this is the last pump, better make it worth it. And um, it just kept coming. So it's very expensive. I I got that for free. I don't remember how, like through what platform, but I know I got that sent to me and I love it. I just like for a hundred dollars to repurchase it, I'm gonna have to make a lot more money. Um, Old Spice Pure Sport, I went through this deodorant. It's in the men's section. Did it do anything more than what a woman's deodorant has done? No. I still haven't found my perfect deodorant. I'm just like, I sweat. I'm a really big sweater. Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Wash by Neutrogena. I just keep this in the shower with me and use it on my face and my chest and I really enjoy it. I think that it works. Does it actually? I'm not sure. This is by Sephora. This is a makeup cleanser. I really like this. I will repurchase it again. It's Detox Deep Cleansing Brush Shampoo. I like their solid, but I really like this one. I feel like with this one, it would be easier not to trap bacteria. I'm so worried about bacteria now. Um, hmm, I think that I went through this. Regardless, you guys know the L'Oreal Luminous Sculpt Mascara is my favorite. Oh, I went through 
a rapid clear suburban acne spot treatment also very good i have it all cut up because like you know i'm i really like try to go through that and like make sure i use it to the very end and i did with this one this is a ysl this is my apricot cc primer and i use this as a foundation i've like talked about this also a ton i'm sorry this is our really redundant i really like this it's like a really light coverage and you know it's nice and other than that, I think everything else was unfortunately forced to leave my hands. Yep. Okay. So, <laughs> this is very, very sad. All of this, and if you guys watch my makeup declutter, this is stuff that I kept because it's my favorites. Okay. And I don't have backups for them. Just to like really rub it in real fast um naked one naked two couldn't remember if i used them in between having a style or not but i think that i did so they have to go also i think i've had them for five years they probably should have went anyways naked basics i definitely went through this i did have a backup which i now have in my stash haven't used it because i'm not fully sure that my eyes are okay yet pixie highlighter i just got this this is so good but like i was like rubbing it in the inner corners before i knew i had styes and like i know this is just filled with bacteria and the thing with this is like i everything in here sprayed it down with alcohol thinking that that was gonna do the trick and i got the styes back so i i thought i got rid of them and then I started using makeup again, and I did not. And I think the culprit, I'm not positive, but that's why I'm getting rid of all this, is my Beauty Blender. Because it does have some spots in it where it's cracked, and that will trap bacteria. So I probably shouldn't have been using this. I bought a new Beauty Blender. I have not opened it yet because $20, I'm, I'm going to make sure my styes are on. This is the first day in, in a while I have worn makeup. And it was new makeup. It was none of this. So, like, I could have... <laughs> this face of makeup could have like cost me some more makeup like especially my mascara but now I'm buying stuff with pumps so it's not a big deal other than mascara but yeah I, I mean my Kim Kardashian KKW um you know bronzer highlighter palette but I, my Fenty Fenty I just I mean some of this I like just got I'm very very upset, but I need to get rid of these styes because they are driving me insane. Okay, so yeah, so sad. If you guys see my new, my new, <laughs> my what's left makeup sash, it is a very sad area, but it feels good. Like I don't have as much stuff anymore, and like it's all not expired too. So there's a positive. On to the stuff like I actually wanted to declutter. More clothes. I have um, mainly stuff that's going to go to Plato's closet, but I have a few things right here that I'm going to post on my Poshmark. Plato's stuff is all, it's a huge bag filled down here. I have a bunch of winter coats and clothing. So if you guys didn't catch my last videos, I am moving and like less than a week like five days four days it's coming up very soon i haven't packed fully i'm getting rid of this or posting this winter coat it is by abercrombie and fitch it is very very warm it has like full like lining of fur on the inside and like a woolish material navy blue on the outside it's like it's very classy looking i just don't wear a ton of navy so like i don't need that getting rid of this kate spade purse i only wore it once makes me a little like cringy but you know, I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff I only wore once or none at all, so. Um, I, there has some stuff on the back. I'm going to try to get that off, but if it doesn't come off, I'm obviously going to list it showing. I think it's just like, I don't know what that is. Regardless, though, this has to go. It is beautiful, but I don't need it. Um, I'm going to be getting rid of this Sam Edelman. It's just like a little coin purse. It is very, very soft and cute but like obviously it's new with tags i don't need that and lastly what i'm posting is this and i got uh, so many comments like i used to wear i have a blue one the exact same i have two of them i was like i don't need to so i'm getting rid of excuse me i just burped the pink one and this is by victoria's secret pink and it is so soft and furry and so comfy but i can't keep on like to doubles i just need to get rid of my doubles Anyways, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on my eyes. 
<laughs> just so annoying. P.S. I probably won't do an empties video for August because I'm not traveling with my trash moving wise. Um, but I will start off again once September hits. So don't you worry. I'm going to head out. Love you so much. Bye.